anyway, so we get, we borrow, we go to the one house. I satisfy the loans in public mm-hmm. record. I then turn around. I have no credit. Gary Sullivan has no credit. Okay. But I have a house worth $210,000. So I turn around and I go to multiple banks and I borrow money. I borrow 190,000 from one bank, 196 from another bank, one against that house? Yeah. So I borrow like five loans. It's like 900,000 and I borrowed another 400,000 on the other house. So it's <laughs> 1.3 million dollars. So then I go to all the closings within <clears throat> a few days of each other. One of the things that happens in the meantime, by the way, is that the other house that I had, one of those lenders did a loan. They did a loan on a, on the, the second house and they caught that they were in third position. So that's a loan for like 180,000, 170, 180, something like that. And so I get a phone call saying, hey, is this Gary Sullivan? I said, yeah, it is Gary Sullivan. And he says, listen, my name is, you know, let's say, uh, Mr. Thompson from Washington Mutual. And we caught a hundred and fifty or hundred and sixty thousand dollar loan on your house on that house. Oh, okay. He said, and it turns out that we found we realized that there's another loan on the house. And we're in second position, and this is an issue, and we're co- contemplating calling the FBI. I'm not sure what you want to do about that, mm-hmm. but I wanted to see if there was an explanation. I said, okay, well, wait a second now, Mr. Thompson. Let's talk about this. Hmm. Let's not get crazy. It's not, you know. So uh, I said, look, let me uh, let me call you back. Uh, I think what's in both of our interest is mm-hmm. that we get Washington Mutual's money back as soon as possible. And he says, well, I agree. So well, let's let's work on that. So I drive to my corporate lawyer in Columbia, and I explain the situation to him. And he says, so you're saying you've got four or five loans on this one house? I'm like, yeah, it's like like 400000 said, He goes, well, what about this other house? And I said, oh, I've got like 900000 on that one. And he goes, okay, well, Gary, that's a problem. And now I've got two <laughs> lawyers. There are two lawyers, and they're like, this is the problem. I'm like, look, my immediate problem is paying these guys back the 160 Right now. So let's pay them back the 160 right. And he goes, um, okay, we can, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll call the guy. So he calls up, and he says, listen, uh, you know, 160000 He can work this out. Uh, let's work this out. And I said, okay. And you know, we go back and forth and I'm like, look, he wants 160. I'm like, look, I'll give him the 160. He's like, whoa, they also want the prepayment penalty. I'll pay the prepayment penalty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, they also want the first month. Well, that's ridiculous. It's only been a week. I'm like, I'll pay the first month's payment. Right. right, right. Come what on, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Just pay them everything they right. want. Right. <clears throat> so they come up with whatever, 165. I forget the number. So I say, okay, okay, okay. So he hangs up the phone. He says, great. We, you got to go get a cashier check. I remember they wanted me to go into the bank like a, a Washington Mutual branch and bring them. I said, I'm not going into Washington. That's not happening. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I said, I'll get a cashier check, bring it to you. He goes, okay. They write up an agreement where they prom- they, they agree that it's a, it's not a criminal matter. It's a creative financing error <laughs> and that it's a civil matter and that it's being taken care of. So they fill out the, the paperwork. No big deal. They fax it back and forth. I sign it. I remember the lawyer. This is the funny part about this is that the two lawyers are sitting there and he says, okay, well, what are we going to do about about the other mortgages. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, Gary, you've got multiple mortgages on all these properties. And I went, right, right. And he said, well, this is an issue. He's, what if these other lenders find out about the mortgages? And I went, well, I leave town. (laughs) And he goes, and he said, no, and they they laughed. They go, go, Gary, that's not gonna work. They've got your date of birth. They have your social security number. He goes, they're gonna find you. And I go, you're assuming I'm Gary Sullivan. Right. And the look on their faces was just like Yeah, they didn't even think of that. Shit, right, man. And he he goes, "Well, we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge when it comes." I said, "That's right. Let me get the check." Yeah, that's so right. I go get the check, I come back, I give him the check, and I remember he said, "Okay, well, I need money for my my fee." And I said, "Well, what's your fee?" It's a couple hours work, and he goes, well, "I think $1500 is good." And I said, "Okay." So I pull out start counting out cash. Yeah. He goes, well, we typically, t- I don't take cash. I take a check. And I said, after what you just heard, you'd take a check from me. Yeah, right. <laughs> and he goes, real. I'll take cash. Cash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cash. He pays them. That's good. They're good. We're all happy. I keep pulling money out of the bank. Becky's happy. Becky and I decide once we pull all the money out, because we're close to getting to all the money at this point. I've been pulling out money. We got six, seven hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars out, out of the bank. We still have a chunk of other money. We've got, we've got a chunk of money. So, <clears throat> So 
we are de we've decided we're going to move to Houston, Texas. So she's moved to Houston, Texas. She lives in Houston now, downtown Houston, amazing building. Um, and so she's in Texas and yeah, she is already in Texas. Yeah, she was in Texas. So I go into the bank one day. I go into Wachovia. Mm. I walk into Wachovia as Gary Sullivan. Typically, I, when I walked in a place, I only had imp information on me that was specific to that person. Mm -hmm. Right. So you don't get Hap it mixed up. or Right. Happened to have a, I happened to have a Michael Eckert driver's license in my, my uh, wallet. I walk in, I go up to the teller, I say, I need nine grand in cash. She goes, okay. She turns around, she goes, I got to get authorization for that. I said, no problem. She walks in the back. Five minutes go by. I'm standing there. The whole place is crowded. Next thing I know, boom, somebody pulls my hand behind my back, pulls the other hand behind my back. I turn around. There are these massive, massive sheriff's uh, deputies. I mean, I'm, I'm five, six. I'm five, seven with a good pair of shoes. I mean, these guys are huge. So I'm like, hey, they go, hey. They said, uh, hey, uh, they grabbed my, my ID, and they said, uh, you're being detained. Uh, Mr., uh, Mr. Sullivan, you're being detained. Come with us. They put the cuffs on me. They walk me in the back. Everybody's staring. They sit me down in the manager's office. I'm sitting there, and I said, well, what's this about? And they go, all we know is to detain you. Five minutes later, a detective shows up. They were, were waiting for the detective. Mm. I heard detective. I thought, okay, FBI. Because I knew the FBI was already looking for me. And by this point, when I left Atlanta, at, the Secret Service had gotten involved. Mm -hmm. And the right. Secret Service had placed me on the Secret Service's most wanted list. Because the Secret Service deals with... Um, Aggravated with identity theft. Identity, okay. With anything to do <laughs> with, the, uh, with the infrastructure of currency or money of any kind. Okay. Um, you know, which is a lot of banking. Right, right, They basically right. took over a massive amount of the FBI. Once the FBI kind of shifted towards mm. ter and, uh, terrorism, okay. they took over a massive amount of that. So, so uh, you know, I know they're looking. Mm -hmm. And so, anyway, I go back. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm handcuffed. The detective walks in. I'm thinking FBI, Secret Service. They walk in. The guy says, uh, he walks in. And he says, uh, hey, uh, Mr. Sullivan, um, you know, I'm whatever his name was, you know, Richard, I'm John Richards, you know, Detective Richards. And I say, OK. And he says, uh, uh, we were, you know, uh, we were contacted by Wachovia's, the head of Wachovia's fraud department. We understand that you've got multiple loans on a piece of property that you borrowed money from. One of the loans you took out was from Wachovia. And you've got you have uh, he, he goes, you've got three loans on one piece of property. I actually had six loans on that piece of property. <laughs> so I knew they've only caught three. Yeah. So I looked up at him and I go, I remember I said, is that illegal? And he went, you know, I don't know. And I remember right then thinking, I'm walking out of here. Yeah. I'm good. All I've got to do is convince this guy I can get out of here. And, I, and he goes, you're not under arrest. And I go, I'm not. I feel like I'm under arrest. I show him the cuffs. He goes, oh, yeah. Uh, can you take those off him? So they take, take the cuffs off. And I said, what's going on? He goes, I don't know. Let's get Wachovia's head of security on the phone. They get him on the phone. He starts <clears> saying... This guy is running a shotgunning scam. He's borrowing so many mortgages on the house, we couldn't catch it in time. And he's removing all the money in cash. And he said, you're removing all the money in cash. I said, I am removing it in cash. And he said, why? And I said, well, because I work for a day labor company, and I had, I, I pull out my, I have a, I have a little um, business card. Mm -hmm. Day labor, it says I'm a site manager, Gary Sullivan, site manager, labor on demand, and I said, it's uh, they, uh, what happens is I said, we, we cut these guys' checks, and they, ha they have to go cash the checks, and they charge them like 10%. So I usually just cash the, their checks for them. Mm -hmm, I right. said, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that's illegal. And he goes, no, that's, that's nice. I, that, that's fine. I'm like, oh, okay. So the guy says, listen, he this, he that. He's, he's got multiple first mortgages. And I went, okay, well, I read every one of the mortgages I took out. None of them said first mortgage because it's actually the placement of the mortgage that determines whether it's a first, second, or third mortgage. Mm -hmm. And not, it, it doesn't really say anything on the mortgage. So he's like, he's like, 
you know, oh, that's it. That's all right. So he's, he's, I'm unraveling his little thing that he's trying to convince him. And I'm saying, no, no, I read the things. It didn't say that. Why didn't he take them all out from the same bank? I said, well, you know, I don't know. I came to Wachovia. I know Wachovia knows they're in first position. Mm -hmm. So I said, I borrowed a first mortgage from Wachovia. I told them that I needed like half a million dollars. So the, the loan officer at Wachovia had a friend at, and I go, shoot, what was the name? What's the name of the other lender? And he goes, he, and he tells me, he's like, oh, Sun Trust. I'm like, right, SunTrust, and they gave me a second mortgage. Well, the girl at SunTrust said she could give me additional money for a sec and for a, for a, a home equity line of credit. This guy, that's not a home equity line of credit. He's lying. He's, and I'm like, look, this is what happened. Then I signed that, and they gave me the money, and I don't understand. What did right. I do wrong? Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, I'm not sure what the what he did wrong. I mean, it sounds to me, I go, sounds to me like they got a problem at the bank. Mm -hmm. Our loan officers didn't do anything wrong. So he's screaming, and then he goes, look at his ID, look at his ID. And he goes, okay, and he looks at the, I, I only had an ID, not a driver's license, because uh, I had a vehicle that was in the name Michael Eckert. Mm -hmm. So I didn't need a driver's license. And he goes, yeah, um, he goes, it starts with zero, zero, zero. He goes, no, no, our, our, our IDs start with zero, zero, zero. He goes, it's a fake ID. He goes, no, I ran him through NCIC. It's his real ID. He is Gary Sullivan. And I went, oh, now I'm not Gary Sullivan? I go, come on, man. What are we doing here? What are we doing? And he goes, I, I don't know. So, so you already got that guy oh, convinced. Wow. You are, at that I'm point, like, you already know you're I know, like, I'm you're gold, here. right? Getting out of here. Oh, the two yeah. sheriffs are still standing there. The two deputies are still there. Yeah. So he goes, ah, he's screaming and hollering, and he's, and he's telling him to calm down. I go, look, man, I think they got a problem at the bank. I wouldn't know how to do this. I said, I work for a labor company. What, I'm going to trick the bank out of half a million dollars? Come on. I own two houses here in the area. And he goes, that's right. He said, yeah, he owns two houses. He, yeah. So he goes, look, I don't even know if he's committed a crime yet. I'm going to bring him downtown. We're going to fill out a police report, and I'm going to see what the district attorney says. He hangs up on the guy. Guy's furious. <laughs> yeah. I get up to leave. And he says, Gary, this is an, a South Carolina ID. Do you have a driver's license? And I went, I do, but it's in Nevada. I don't know if Gary Sullivan has one in Nevada. Right. I have no clue. He's a, he's a homeless, uh, right. a, um, uh, homeless guy, right? Homeless, right. yeah. Uh, you know, prostitute. A prostitute, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. So <laughs> this, so the, the, the he's giving reach rounds behind seven. Yeah. Women. So the the detective says he he goes. Oh, that's right. He goes, you're from, I forgot, you're from Las Vegas. And I right then remember that he had said he pulled me through NCIC. So he knows Gary Sullivan's been arrested twice for prostitution. Oh, <sighs> shit. So I thought, no. Fuck. I looked over at the deputies, and these guys are glancing at each other, smiling. And I thought, son of a bitch. <laughs> they think you're a male prostitute. I was a male prostitute a few years ago. <laughs> and I went, <laughs> and he, the guy goes, one of the cops grabs the ID and says, I'll check to see if he's got a driver's license. He walks off. He comes back and he says, yeah, he's got a valid driver's license in Nevada. And it, the dep deputy goes, he goes, checks out. He goes, everything's good. It's valid. He goes, he goes yeah, yeah, it's, it's valid. He goes, well, it says he's five foot ten. And they all look at me and I go, well, fellas, with a good pair of shoes. <laughs> yeah. And they go, ha, ha, ha. Gary, follow us to, back to the police station. So I'm driving back to the police station with the cruiser behind me and the deputy's car in the front of me. My phone rings, and it's Becky. And I go, hey, what's going on? And she says, oh, my God. Oh my, I've got like 40 missed calls, by the yeah. way. <clears throat> oh, my God, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I said, okay, I, you're not going to believe this. I said, I just got detained. I'm being driven back to the police station. I have to fill out a police report. And I explain what happens, and she goes, Get on the interstate. Get out of there. Get out. I said, I can't. There's a cop behind me. I can't. I'm, I got to play yeah. this out. I said, listen, five <clears throat> minutes ago, I was in handcuffs. I can do this. I can get out of this. I'm good. She goes, you don't understand. You're number one on the Secret Service's most wanted list. They just raised you to number one. He goes, she goes, you got to get out. I said, look, I can't. I can't. I said, look, the worst case scenario is this. I'll get arrested. You get me a lawyer. Get me out. She goes, I'm not getting you out on bond. I'm not getting you a lawyer. She goes, I'm not risking everything I have to try and get you out of jail. She's got all the money. Oh, oh fuck. shit. So I'm going, <laughs> so, well, I guess I better not get arrested. Yeah. All right. So I hang up the phone. I go in there. I fill out the, the police report. Mm -hmm. I wait. He won't let me let, wait in his cube. He says, can you wait in the hallway? I got to go talk to the, to the, um, my 
whatever, lieutenant, whatever. Right. I wait in the hallway. In the hallway, there's all of these posters. There's wow. one color poster, which is my Secret Service's most wanted poster. A picture of you. A picture of me. <gasps> now, keep in mind, I've had plastic With surgery. their real name on it. With oh, Matt Cox. Cox. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. keep in mind, I've had plastic surgery by this point. <clears throat> I've had liposuction. I had a nose job. I had what's called a mini facelift. I got um, porcelain veneers. Um, I had uh, two hair grafts. You know, this isn't my real hair. 